Hello everyone. Uh, we're going to do this uh, really fun painting today of an egret just sitting in the pond with beautiful reflections which we're going to focus on. So this is really about reflections. But we'll start up in the grass. The top of the painting is just these tall, this tall grass. It's winter grass and it's, uh, you know, just beautiful colors up there. Uh, so we're starting with a very dark uh, ultramarine with quinciana on the top. And then in the middle here where the grass is, uh, I mixed up a brownish color with uh, quince, uh, sorry, raw sienna and cobalt blue. Then I added some rose to it. Uh, now I'm running a dark line through the middle and then uh, using that dark, which is just the you know same thing, the ultramarine with the quinciana, running a bead across the top of the grass and then pure raw sienna on the bottom, there's a, another row of uh, this raw sienna grass on the bottom. Be careful of the egret's head there. You're gonna paint around that head. The head has to, should be sitting in the grass to, to uh, separate it from the white sand, okay? All right, uh, I'm gonna run a bead of darker, this is a uh, Little same thing, a little bit of uh, quinacridone sienna and a little touch of cobalt blue, so it's not as dark as the other. And I'm pushing it towards, I mixed in a little raw sienna into that. It's the bottom of the grass. All right, so here's something I'm doing that is very unusual. It's just a bead of uh, the uh, gouache right across the middle of the grass. Because it's the winter grass, I want to get this nice cool violet color. And you can see I'm using a flat brush and just, you know, going through it, pushing it up into that dark with that very fine flat brush. Same thing on the bottom. And then just letting it, you know, going across with that pulsating sort of stroke there and letting it settle into that stroke. And then taking a, take a small brush here and just go along different parts of the top of it, you know, just getting some uh, points on the grass, I guess, you know, just going across and with that stroke. All right. Just go right across. You get a real nice sense of the grass here. Now, it's almost dry here, so I took a small brush and just pushing that, you know, that pushing those colors, mixing them up with that steady, you know, steady stroke of up and down brushwork really gives it a nice sense of grass okay yeah all right now we'll get into the water here into the reflections this is this is ultramarine blue with quinciana very dark uh, I pushed it a little bit towards the blue so it's a nice cool color uh, it's dark water very carefully painting around the egret that's really important some of you may want to use uh, some masking, if you're used to using masking. I don't like to use it because it gives you a very hot edge that's hard to deal with sometimes. But anyway, uh, just using this dark color, painting around the egret, and then I'm painting, what I'm focusing on here is the shape of the reflection. So I just wanna get that in uh, It's with this dark color. It's a, you know, it's a fairly neutral color, but we're gonna, mix a lot of colors into it, which is really uh, good. So one important thing here, you want to make sure that you keep this dark reflection moist all the time, you know, keep it nice and moist and wet so you can, so it gives you a nice uh, reflective look to it. And you can continue to mix colors in there, which is wonderful. So you can see I got a little darker here, which is fine. So I'm still painting the shape of the big reflection. We're gonna go in and put ripples and all that later, but let's get this shape. You can see I'm spraying here with a little mist. So I get that nice and wet coming down. And now I'm adding some color to it. You know, you can use almost whatever color you want. Uh, most of them are very dark and warm. Uh, that was a little quinciana. This is a little raw sienna. And just, you know, don't paint the whole shape that color, but you want to get a, you know, get a sense of reflective color. So you're leaving some, you know, painting some uh, 
one color and some the other, letting some come down. All right, right across. Spray it, more, you know, keep spraying it if you need to, but keep it moving, you know, keep that, keep it moving up and down, which is what you want, which will really give you that beautiful reflective look, which, which we are looking for here. All right, now I'm adding some really dark ultramarine with, co uh, ultramarine with uh, quinacridone sienna. See how I'm putting it on with these up and down strokes as well, so that it moves that way and letting the colors just mix as they want to. All right, now we're gonna put some ripples in here. Uh, pick up the drip at, on the end there, and then what I did, I, I like to use a flat brush with more water on it. Uh, the ripples get lighter as they come down here, so generally. So I, I like to keep some, a little water on my brush and use the color that's already there. Just pull it out, horizontal strokes, and just, you'll, you'll feel it. it. There'll be beautiful ripple shapes there. And we wanna go right across the top of all those shapes. And that shows, you know, it shows the movement of the water. It shows the reflection of the water, which is wonderful, okay? You can see those colors mixing up in the reflection, so nice. All right, uh, keep it going. We'll just go right across. Keep your brush nice and wet. Use the color that's there in, in the drip. That's all nice and moist and wet. Go right across. And as you go, you'll feel it. You'll feel that color coming down. You know, you go in light, but the, the color's gonna drain from up above and mix with what you're doing. And it just give you that beautiful reflective look. Okay? Yeah. A little more up in here. I'm just using water, I just basically, you know, a wet brush, pulling the color out of that reflecting, reflection shape. Okay. All right, we're gonna use some uh, I, some of you may want to paint around the reflection of the egret here. Uh, what I did was I make sure it's nice and dry. I let that reflection area be nice and dry and I'm going in with a damp brush and basically just lifting out the reflection. I like that better because it leaves a little bit of the color in the water and that's the way it would reflect, you know, a little bit darker than the reflection itself. I mean, then the egret itself is just very white. So we want to go in and just, just paint that shape with water and lift it out, you know? And that gives you a nice, a nice reflection. If you use masking on that, you're gonna have that white, white reflection, which is too white, so you're gonna to have to go in and paint it. All right, I'm going in with a little dark here, just putting a few ripples across, right across all that reflection, which is, Adding a little more color here. <coughs> All right. A little more color on the edges. Just letting it still, you know, let it all come down. Spray it if you want to now. You know, All right. I'm using a straight razor here. This is a nice technique to use. What I'm doing is essentially just scraping out the paint to give me a little reflection in the water. Be careful not to cut yourself and be careful not to cut the paper. You don't want to go too deep. So you really want to just drag the, you know, drag the, the blade across the, across the uh, paper and it, it, you know, turns up the paper so you have a, a really nice sense of a reflection. Homer used it quite a bit and Sargent used it as well. All right. You can see it gives you a nice, it sits the whole thing down for you, you know, really that's what you need. You can do it with some gouache if you want. Okay, putting a little bit of detail on the, uh, on the bird itself. Deep raw sienna there underneath for the bill. 
and then just a little dot of dark for the eye. And that's really all you need. Putting a little outline on the, the uh, grass there. A little bit of shadow. You may want to, you know, if you want to paint that white sand, you can do that with, you know, a nice, nice tan color of sand, but keep it very light. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm wiping down, showing the reflections are coming down. All right, any last minute things here? Let's see. All right, a little bit of scuff there. Just wetting it again and pulling it down, making the reflections come down. Okay, there's the finished painting. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun uh, doing these reflections. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you again very soon.